Right, hello there people. Now, today I've been doing a little bit of gardening, as one may expect from myself. Now, things in this polytunnel are looking absolutely brilliant, but what we'll do, we're not going to go in there just now, but what we'll do is we'll prop the old door open. Amazing. Now, anyway, so today I have potted up some broad runner beans, runner beans, and I had loads of those that I needed to get um, sort of in really. I've given a few away to some friends, but here I wanted more. I've got them staked using some old stakes and some bits of wood that I've had laying around. So I'll show you those in Uno Memento. I've done a bit of grapevine pruning. Now I've still got a few runner, uh, broad runner beans to go and uh, probably going to go to some friends. You know, that's, you know that's, uh, that's how it's going to be probably. But uh, yeah, so looking good here, my little container garden here I'm very sort of happy about how it's sort of coming on so that's good and in here well it's just amazing really okay um, just before we sort of um, go talking about plants um, this is broke on my garden seat see that look goes on to there down to there Anybody know where I can buy one of those? If you know, let me know. Thank you. Okay, now, looking at the plants here. So, I'll give you a bit of a close-up. Right, so what we've... What did you say? Told you, not whilst I'm filming. Right, okay. Um, now, what I've got here, this is Money Maker. Doesn't that look... It's done really well. Look, look at the growth. And I've got my squashes. And now, the runner beans. So I'll show you how I've gone about doing those. So these are just some old canes I've had laying around. You see them ones there. That, you know, they're small and short, broken. But they've got to use them for something. And at the end of the day, these plants have got to get their nutrients from the compost growing medium in these 30-litre... And in the case of this one, 35 litre tubs. So what I'm probably going to do is let them get to the top of that one and then pinch them out. Have smaller plants and they should, you know, hopefully produce prolifically, you know, to help with this, you know, just to help with that. I don't want a too much leaf, to, don't want too much of a bigger plant. I'd much rather them concentrate on, uh, you know, producing good quality and a good amount of runner beans later in the season. I mean, that squash plant there is growing absolutely beautifully and amazing down here so we're all looking you know good in the container garden just imagine what this is going to look like in three four five six months time amazing now I'll show you what I've been up to in here so there we go and the grapevine if you may if you saw my last few videos you may recall that it uh, was growing out into the gangway a bit so what I've done is just gave it a light prune just with you know the older secateurs the old Felco 2s red ones that I use um, yeah so I just gave them a bit of a prune like that and that's um, you know just enough to keep it sort of out of the gangway so I can work in here now I think I've noticed three to five bunches of grapes on this autumn royal and they're getting bigger there's a nice little bunch, little bunch there, very small bunch here, and here you go, I noticed two, one here, look, and one there. So quite happy about how the old Autumn Royal is coming on. Now, you probably haven't seen these close up properly for a while because they were engulfed by you know, how the grapevine was. So. This is persimmon, otherwise known as Sharon fruit, and you can see all of this growth already this year. So I'm very, very happy about how that's coming on. So that's looking cool. And here, the pomegranate is looking good. Um, and the orange tree, well, I mean, I, I didn't use an official growing medium for this. I, I've got the video of what I potted it up on in last year. But it's done really, really well. Just growing bigger and bigger almost by the day. And now that... Um, See if I, yeah, I'm getting now the actual little oranges are starting to form. I reckon I'm going to be having quite a good crop on this orange tree, so very happy in those regards. Um, my tomatoes here are growing well, 
you can see I put the old camera down there. I've got the camera today, not the uh, mobile phone camera. So hopefully, you know, you're getting a sort of what's the term I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm saying, but whatever. So yeah, look there. Look, see, look, tomatoes are looking good. I'm quite happy with how they are coming on. I mean, look, nice and close. You know what varieties they are if you've been following me, I'm sure, in another video when I can get to them, I'll tell you, you know, more about what they are. So down here, look, strawberries, getting beautiful flowers there, and it's starting to rain. You hear the old tap tap of the rain on there. And from the bottom of the polytunnel up, look, that grapevine looks cool. Imagine that next year when there's uh, grape bunches hanging off of that. It's going to be... oh. Oh, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something. Okay, so in here, behind this compost bin, which is only there, it's not uh, in action at the moment, that one is, but here is the melon project. Now, don't expect anything amazing when I show you this, okay? I've got a playlist on melons, and I've been, you know, it's done a lot better you know, the last few years, I think two or three years ago, did quite well with melons. So check that playlist out if you're interested in, uh, if you're interested in melons, check out my melon playlist. But uh, I'll show you what I've got in here, okay? Now what this is, is this is just a, um, you know, a mini greenhouse that I purchased for about, uh, dear, I don't know, 25, 30 pounds, something like that. But what happened was, um, like a complete sort of, um, Plonker, I didn't secure it during the uh, that storm and it ended up flying away. But I got it back and I've secured it. So yeah. Now it's not ideally placed actually, but never mind. Um, this is where it went. And I'm probably going to move it. Either that or that this Worcester Pearman apple tree is going to come out. Excuse me whilst I uh look how lovely that big oak tree looks with the sun on it. I wonder if I can zoom in. Really yellow, isn't it, from here, the sun? You know, nice sort of, um, what do you call it? Contrast with the, the grey sky. Rainbow! There you go. See that look? Can you see it? Oh man, happy I got that on camera. Okay, now melons. So down here, what we got is I'll show you. So you unzip it down here. This is not that easy with one hand. In fact, it's easier to peel an orange in your pocket than it is to do this. Okay, now, there you go. See what I've got there. So there's an assortment of varieties. Okay, these crimson sweet watermelons. Um... Yeah. Oh. No, let's just get in there and let's get in. Only a Oh dear, only someone of my uh sort of no, I don't know, only someone like me would do this. Right. There we go. Now what we got here? Collective farm women. Yep. That's or oh, collective farm woman, that's the same. What we got here? Five desserts. Um, Petit Gris de Rhin. And these are horned melon. Okay? Horned melon. Oh, and what we got here? Oh, KN what loads in the terms of um, peppers. Peppers. Chilies. Something like that. And a few more over there. So. This is how the melon project is happening this year. Now, um, whatever it's going to turn out like, we don't know yet. But, um, you know, it wasn't that warm earlier in the year. And I had a load of melon plants. And basically, they were ready too early to go out. I had some in the polytunnel. And they, um, you know, didn't do very well because it was cold. Um, but, you know, it could have went the other way. I mean, last year... We had the final frost of the year, 
in April and then it went really hot and this time last year we were right in that heat wave was here so you know you never know how it's going to go which is one reason why I say to people make sure you grow a nice variety of stuff just in case uh, you know things don't go your way and make sure you've got some you know stuff that's more likely for success than others then you know a little bash at something like this may be but um, you know me oh, what's it called you know runner beans and um potatoes and spinach and kale make sure you grow you know i would say stuff like that as well so yeah looking good we'll see how it goes i'm staying under here to keep dry for a while so let's um now through here look see them look now what they are is my um squashes they're doing quite well let's go and have a look at them yeah they're growing well down there i forget the variety that they were but doesn't really matter. Now what I'm going to do on that on them shelves there is I'm probably going to have some like long containers of carrots on there, something like that. Um, you know, some root vegetables maybe growing in some long containers along there. That's uh, another project coming up at a later date. These runner beans that I see, they're just going from absolute strength to strength. I mean, they're, they're really loving it in this miracle Grow compost in this container, so I'm quite happy with how that's looking. Now the rainbow, there you go, looks a bit stronger now. You can see it a bit closer. Well, not cl I'm trying to zoom in on this camera. There you go. See it? Somewhere over the rainbow, the dead do. Somewhere over the rainbow, once in a lullaby. Okay, so lots happening at the moment. Told you to stop talking to me when I'm working. Um, what? I'm warning you, stop it, S stop it. Right, sorry, back to, back to reality. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm sure there's some other projects I'm going to be getting involved in very much. Um, three things coming soon, obviously been delayed by a day because of the bank holiday today. It'll be quite exciting when they come. And when they're here, it'll be a case of sorting them out. And then after that, Hopefully, something else will be, um, you know, ordered, <clears throat> or not, as the case may be. Very much interested in that little project over there of the root vegetables on that tray. Maybe, um, I'm thinking of some intriguing varieties of carrots. I was looking at that Real Seeds Company site that I showed you before. Um, <clears throat> the Real Seed Company, I think that's what it's called. But... Um, some really nice looking varieties of you know traditional carrots on there so i'm thinking of something along those lines but yeah i'm happy with how it's how it's going so hope you like you know something is a foot 
One cannot say what it is, but something is indeed afoot. So anyway, if you like my work, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully see you in the next video, which will hopefully be sorting out the new additions to the home gardens, grow your own project, if you will. See you next time.